Good morning, everyone. I'm Lisa Wong. You're joining me here on Bella Unwind. And today, we're going to be learning something new about what's coming up in Chinese New Year. Now, as we know, this year is going to be the year of the goat. And some people call it the year of the sheep. But both are used interchangeably because goat and sheep are called yang in Chinese. And yang is an auspicious animal in the zodiac lineup because the word yang is part of the word the Chinese character luck. So there you go. Now, nutritionally, goat's meat and goat's milk give us a lot of benefits. And we're going to discover more of that on today's show in the next 60 minutes. First up, the benefits of goat's milk and meat. Is goat meat a better option than chicken or beef? And is it true that goat's milk is superior than cow's milk? Plus, Cleopatra has been rumored to bathe in donkey's milk to preserve her legendary beauty. Is goat's milk any better? We'll learn how to make soap out of goat's milk for smooth, glowing skin. We'll also learn how to cook goat's meat in a mouth-watering dish. Now, this is going to be useful because coming up, you can serve this during Chinese New Year. And, you know, there is also this confusion between goat's meat, there's also mutton, and there's lamb. So what are the differences? Well, we know goat's meat is just goat's meat. Lamb is a baby sheep. And what do you call sheep's meat? Sheep's meat. And mutton is the meat of an adult sheep. So there you go, the differences. But we're going to find out more about the nutrition values coming up. So we have just discovered how moisturizing goat's milk can be. Now we have a artisan soap maker to show us how to make your own bar of goat's milk soap. So please welcome Nick Nurul Azma. Welcome. Thank you. What are you going to show us today? Okay, um, today I'm going to show how to make uh, goat's milk okay. using cold process method. Alright, okay. cold process. What is cold process? Okay, uh, there are several types of methods of how to make soap. Uh, cold process is the most popular in the West. Okay. Yeah, so it's catching up here in Malaysia. The reason being? Um, because you can formulate your own uh, soap using uh, oils, okay. whichever oils that you like, right. uh, based on your skin. Okay. So it's tailor made and uh, it still retains the uh, benefits of the oils. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, there you go. And you have several different products here. Yeah. Uh, right. You have like. Three different versions. Okay, is that correct? Yes, this is actually uh, goat's milk. Okay, it's just that uh, I designed it this way so that we won't get bored. Right. Yeah. It looks like cupcakes. It looks too pretty to be used. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, you have a very interesting story All about right. how you got into the soap making business. Yeah. Um, I wanted to do something. And uh, I hate cooking. Okay. Sorry, Auntie Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I thought that uh, soap is something new that I can venture, and I fell in love with it. Wow! All right. So uh, teach us how. What is your first step? Okay. Uh, first step is that uh, you need to um, froze your uh, milk. So this milk I got it from uh, Goods Farm in the Klang Valley. Okay. Right. Yeah. So um, what you, you went straight to the livestock farm. Yes. Correct. Wow, okay. So right. uh, we don't use uh, powdered milk. So it's fresh goat's milk, but I, I froze it. So in order to make it, um, you know, uh, you need to put a sodium hydroxide inside the uh, cold milk um, to, to dissolve the sodium hydroxide. Okay. Yeah, you know, so it will take some time. All right. uh, you need the uh, ice so that to, uh, the temperature won't go up. Because sodium hydroxide will uh, increase the temperature of the, the milk. I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. So for even things like sodium hydroxide, where can you get them? Okay. Uh, here in Malaysia, it's very restricted. Okay. So you need a license to get it. Okay. Or, you, or if you attend uh, any of the soap making workshops, um, they will sell it to you. I see. Yeah. Okay, correct. Do you have to be quite careful? Do you have to wear gloves? Yes, correct. Because uh, sodium hydroxide is uh, highly alkaline. Uh, the pH level is 14. So you need to protect your skin because it will uh, eat up your skin. Uh, mm, yeah. You don't but, want that to happen. No, no. But if you know the correct method of uh, doing it, it yes. should be safe. Okay. Okay? Alright, All right, so we're going to speed up this process. Mm -hmm. So here I have... Um, 
the melted version? Yeah, the, um, it's already mixed, okay? Uh, the sodium hydroxide inside the uh, the milk. So mm -hmm. this is it. Look at how yellow, it's got a deep yellow yeah, color yeah. to it. Okay, so we're going to uh, put it inside the oil. Right. Now I have inside here um, uh, coconut oil, okay. olive oil, uh, sweet almond, rice bran oil and shea butter. How so much of each? Um, we have a percentage of, you know, the whole thing, mm. so that you make up a, a nice bar of soap, okay? Mm. And it smells wonderful. <laughs> Even these soaps that you have here, I mean, they are just divine. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. How long can a bar of soap sustain? Okay, um, a bar of soap like uh, 100 grams would last you about um, one month or so. Really? So, and this is for facial or for like entire body? Uh, you can use the uh, soap for both um, body and face. I see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, after you have put the milk inside the oil, so you need to use a stick blender to blend it. Okay. Now at home, I will just use a, a, a whisker. Right. But here to speed up the process, I will use a stick, okay. a stick blender. Okay? Go ahead, Nick. All right. There you go. It's yeah. like making... I know, a baking dish. It's like cooking for me. This is almost like cooking. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you use a bar of soap, uh, things that you have homemade, how long can you use it for, you know, before you, you know, some people have it in a kind of stash on their shelf mm -hmm. once it's open? Okay, um, for handmade soap, you need to be, um, to put it in a soap dish after you use it so that it, it will dry, okay? okay? Uh, you, you cannot put it uh, something, a container that have a water so, because it won't last. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, goat's milk is actually uh, very good for the skin because uh, it contains uh, lactic acid which uh, removes dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. okay. And it contains vitamin A so that it's good uh, for lines and wrinkles. Alright. Yeah. So, it does protect and preserve our beauty. Yes, well, right. Nick, you know what? We took our cameras to the streets to ask people, would you use goat's milk for beauty? Take a look. I think because it's natural, it's a natural being, right? So it should be okay for your skin. Uh. For beauty, no. I mean, for shower, I did use the goat milk shampoo. It will make your skin got a feeling like smooth. Though. Goat milk, I drink, uh, but I don't use for the uh, nose lotion. Body shampoo, it's quite effective la. After I just uh, take the bath, right, I feel like the skin more smoother and then uh, reduce the dryness. Yes, for shower gel. Mm, I think it's good. Smoother. Just I like the smell. No, I never tried before. I think it's not the famous. Actually, I tried before for the, I think it's a body bath, but I like the smell la. So maybe I think it's good la, because the smell very nice. La. I have used it before and I feel it is quite smooth la. But I don't know why. Normally, I feel uh, got, uh, I mean, I have meal like people say it's good so I just use it. <laughs> of course I have used before but it's good yeah it's soft. I try a couple of times yeah it, it seems good uh, after using I find it the uh, skin is a bit softer but we don't use it all the time so I don't know the long term effect maybe it works well I don't know. Skin is uh, smooth skin and good for help. Uh, yes I do and if I feel very good I feel my skin become very smooth. Wow, some recommendations from goat's milk bar soap users there. Now, if you use goat's milk, uh, you know, let's say you have skin conditions like dry skin or even eczema, uh, would you recommend that? Yes, um, very much. Um, I have, uh, if, if you have eczema or psoriasis or very dry or sensitive skin, uh, you can use goat's milk uh, to make soap and it uh, depends on the recipe. Uh, even babies also can use. Okay, yeah. and how about commercial goat's milk beauty skincare products? Would you recommend that or would you recommend, you know, an artist dance? <laughs> okay, I uh, won't be able to comment much on the commercial ones mm -hmm. because I do not know how they make it. Okay. But uh, for all handmade soaps, uh, especially goat's milk, it's recommended. Okay, alright, okay. So what's the next process okay. here? Um, after it has thicken up, so we, what we're going to do is that we're going to add uh, rosemary essential oils. Mm -hmm. Now, rosemary essential oil is uh, good for stimulating, mm -hmm. okay, and um, uh, it gives a nice smell. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. It is beautiful smelling. Yeah. Um, and for this, how long did you leave it to set? 
Um, we can put it already inside the uh, mold. Right. Okay. okay. Inside the mold. Okay. So what's a lot of lavender oil that you use there? At least, uh, you know. Uh, this one is rosemary. 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 Okay. But you can use any types of essential oils that you know that is that you like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we're going to put inside the mold. This is called a, a log mold or a, or a loaf mold. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So how long will the entire process of making your own bar so be? Oh, very fast. Just like we have done here. Okay. You know, it's very fast. So this is, uh, you let it set for uh, 24 to 48 hours. All right. Okay. And then, after that, okay, you put this aside. Mm -hmm. uh, after 24 to 48 hours, there you have it. There you have it. Wow, your own bar of soap. Yes. There you go. So this is, uh, I, I've made it earlier. All right. Okay. This is uh, the same as this one. Okay. Yeah, so this is goat's milk. Okay. This is just beautiful. It smells um, very subtle. Yes. Mm. And the rosemary. Mm. Okay, so okay. how do you um, cut this up? Okay, now we're going to cut this up. Okay, we're going to use uh, this wire cutter. Okay, so all we have to do is that uh, you put it in here. Okay. And you press it down. Okay. And heavy. There you wow, have it. there you go. So like within 24, 48 hours, yes. you already have your own homemade goat's milk bar. And you can use it uh, from top to toe, right, you're saying? Yes, correct. Oh, so okay. this one, you have to uh, let it cure for about six uh, weeks so that it will dry up. Mm -hmm. Then you can use it. Uh, oh, okay. So you do have to um, cure, store it. It, yes. cure it. Yeah. What would the curing process be? Um, to dry it because we use uh, liquid, right? Mm -hmm. To dry it and also to lower down the pH level. Oh, so it's an important process. Yeah. Okay. So, so would you like to uh, cut one? Okay. Yeah. Looks really easy. Yes. All the way down. All yes, okay. correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ning. I mean, this is very insightful. Now, if you want to learn more about soap making, how can our viewers and all, how can they get in touch with you or where can they go to? Okay, um, they can go to Facebook, uh, Clip Clip Natural, mm -hmm. or they can uh, email to me, uh, Clip Clip Natural at gmail.com. All right, thank you. Welcome. Well, we hope that you have learned a few tricks as well on how to make your own goat's milk bar and keep that skin looking moisturized and beautiful. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll show you Auntie Lillian's finished this uh, dish as well as some stories. So don't miss that. If you are making